Okay, so this video is going to be on lipo versus nickel metal hydrate, which one's better for you. Um, like 99% of the people are going to go over here to lipos, but I would actually, um, yeah, I'd go with lipos too, but I would actually want to do a review on this uh, versus video, actually. This is a series that I'm making. I'm going to have another video up maybe tomorrow or the day after that on a versus series, um, so that, that'd be, that should be cool. I'm thinking of doing another series too. Um, that'll be a surprise. So, nickel metal hydrides, they are heavier. Uh, they do have, um, like if you were to find a nickel metal, uh, same uh, milliamp, same capacity, but uh, you would want to find one the same weight, the nickel metal hydride would probably be, the voltage would probably be lower. So, I mean, this thing is 2300 milliamps. And if you want to compare it to this nickel, this is only 1100. But this is only 1 1.2 volts, so it's not that big. This is 8.4, so size with the voltage also matters too, not just the capacity. So that's what I want to say. Now, they you can put both connectors, like this is a nickel metal hydrate, connector on a nickel metal hydrate. This is a connector on a lipo, so you got a lot of batteries, to, not a lot of connectors to choose from. I would go with Dean's, but I don't have, I haven't had time to solder Dean's on. And it's, it'd be a lot of money to convert all my batteries to, Z, to Dean's. Rather just, you know, work a little harder and try to get those EC3s out without breaking the solder off of them. Um, that's what always happens sometimes. <sighs> so, um, that's about it with the nickel metal. Uh, nickel metal you can also run on brushless. Or on brushed. I'm not sure you can run nickel on brushless. I haven't heard of anyone doing that. And if you can, if you want to comment and tell me that I can have like a little annotation like right here about if I was right or wrong about this um, so yeah next thing uh, we want to go over and uh, talk about the disadvantages um, disadvantages it doesn't hold a charge that long it's heavy and it's big it's really big and it, it can break really easily and everything the advantages is it's cheaper and it's um, it's it's more uh, it's safer to charge. It's more it's safer. That it will like explode if you don't do something right, or I mean something like that. So um, yeah. And on this battery, something says it says this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer. So everything is known to the state of California. I mean that's what they all say. Even on my little model rocket engines, they say that. So let's see about lipos. Lipos can range from being about this big to being about this big. So I mean, as you see, this battery is just like the smallest thing in the world. And you can also you can also want to compare it to this one. This is this one's small compared to this one, so big difference here. Um, but the thing is about lipos. Lipos, if something happens or if you use them or if you just discharge them too much. They won't charge back up again. And, I mean, I had this one. This is from my little beginner plane slope diver. I never really bothered, bothered to fix. This battery has been uncharged for about, I don't know, a year. And I charged it back up and it full power. I mean, it was great. And, I mean, this these ones, if you discharge them for over, I think, two months, then they're, they're gone. You're, you're not going to bring them back up the voltage. Because they, this one will lose voltage a little bit quicker, but it won't, like, drop below the point where you can't charge it back up again. So if it's zero, I mean, if it's 0, 0.0 volts, um, you can charge back up again, probably. Uh, this one, you can't go under 11.1 volts. And if you go a little bit under, you could probably charge it up. But if you go under maybe 9 or something, or 10, then uh, you're gone. You're not going to be doing anything. Uh, so batteries, as you know, they do puff up if you uh, use them too much or if you do some like this bad little one cell is like puffed up and if you puff it up too much it'll explode so that is not good and what that air if it, and you can squeeze it and it's air and that's and it's gas so that's what it is it's gas from the cells little gas leak somewhere so that's what it is i just wanted to tell you that now um these ones they haven't really blown up yet they will all lipos will blow up they should um but these sky lipos are actually pretty solid so they're not gonna be like that uh 7.4 volts 7.4 volts 7.4 volts this is um uh okay you know um 
I think, um, there's just candy. Uh, it's called, I forgot what it was called. It was like these little, like, square little sheets of, uh, sweet, sweetness. Um, it was like now and later, or, or now or later, now and later, something like that. Um, we had one of those, they're really good, but, um, they, this is the size of one of those. And this is 300 milliamps, 7.1 volt, 7.4 volt, 2.2, uh, watty amps, not watty amps, what am I talking about, uh, watts, I think that's what it is, 300 milliamps, watty amps, uh, you got, this one is starting to puff up, so, I'm not using it anymore, though, my, uh, mini super cub is retired, I shouldn't really say that, but it kind of is, because I kind of ruined it, <laughs> can't get the hinge back on, and I don't really want to work with it, and it's not really worth it, the radio is kind of going out on me, and everything's just falling apart, it's, it's like over two years old, it's like three years old actually, so, um, that's the thing. So, let's see, sky lipos, uh, yeah, oh, and the C's, C's, if you buy like a 50C battery, you're probably, you could, uh, burn out your motor, or like, do something to your motor, um, but the thing that should go first could be your ESC. Um, so, I oh, got a phone ring, but, um, now this one right here, 1600 milliamp 20C, as you see, it is very short. It's not as long as something like this, but it's way thicker. Uh, same th thickness as one of these batteries, but it's way shorter. Uh, it's got those little banana red connectors on them, banana connectors, whatever you call them. So this is about a 13 lipo 100 milliamp 11.1 volt 3 cell. Now let me just explain to you something. 3.7 volts is one cell. Uh, a 7.4 volt is two cell. 11.1 volts three cell. 14.8 volt is a um, four cell. And then 16. 16.9, mm, 16 I think. I have a feeling it's 16.9, I'm not sure about that, or maybe like 16.5, whatever, that's a 5, uh, 5 cell, and then 22.2 is indeed a, um, 6 cell battery. 6 cells are about as high as they go, I think they do have, uh, batteries a little, maybe a little bigger than that, or I don't think they do have batteries, lipo batteries bigger than that. Uh, I think if you want to go bigger than that, then you have to have two lipo batteries, like on a Y harness or something, I don't know. Uh, this is, okay, now this is something I really want to explain to you. This is 800 milliamps LiPo battery, 11.1 .1 volts. This is a 2 cell, 7.4 volt, 800 milliamps, same capacity. As you see, the 2 cell is shorter, and the 2 cell is thinner. So, many of you would ask, why would you go with a 3 cell if you could go with the 2 cell? Uh, oh, yeah, and one more thing, the 2 cell is a little bit thicker, <laughs> yeah or wider, whatever you call it. Now, a 3-cell, I believe it gives you a little more power. Um, like, this one is for the East Sky um, Hunter. Uh, the Hunter is about $80 on xheli.com. Uh, you can get everything with it ready to fly. Uh, but the thing about that is that has two brushed 180 motors. 180, um, the uh, brushed 180 motors. Uh, and this, that one's on a two cell. And then I have a, the East Sky Big Llama. Big Llama runs on a three cell, 800 milliamp, and that has two brushed 380 motors. So 180 versus 380 is a big difference, so I think a three cell would deliver more power, and it could probably handle the, uh, amps you're gonna be drawing, I think, from your battery. So that's the thing. So, the bad things about, li the good things about LiPo is they deliver more power. They, uh, they hold their charges for a little bit longer for actually way longer and they are faster to charge the bad thing is they are very dangerous they can cause explosions and fire and I mean if you're the person you don't want to risk that and you just want to say you know I'd rather just have a battery that discharges but you know doesn't explode on me or rather have better performance and a battery that could explode but they do there's one solution to buying these they do have lipo safe bags at your hobby shop or online nitro planes you can get them really cheap there Horizon hobby charge a little bit much for them a little bit too much um but i mean they'll probably come down in price but you can uh, you can't make a lipo safe bag there's some material i think um unless you I mean you have that material but 
kind of feels like duct tape if you want to put it that way, a lipo safe bag. So that's just a thing. Um, now, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Nickel metal hydride batteries actually charge through the discharge lead. So there's actually a lead that discharges and charges the battery. For lipo, there's a charging lead and a discharge lead. Now, if you're going to balance your battery, you got to plug two of them in at the same time. Um, so, I mean, if you're a beginner and you... Um, just got your first airplane i would get a um it's kind of off topic but i mean i got asked so i'm just gonna answer it if if you're lucky then um then you're veering but um i'll see you in all my future videos uh hope to see you again and i'll have more version videos like uh, brushless versus brushed and ultra micro versus full size and helicopters versus planes and jets versus props you know glow versus electric all this stuff so, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.